Hey, good evening, sir. How are you? You're mute. Hello, can you hear me now? Hello? Yeah, I can hear oh, you. Okay, great. Thank you. Hold on. I can't find my task bar. Okay, there you go. How are you? Um, I'm okay. Thank you. I'm pretty good. Just, uh, I was a struggling day, but it's okay. I mean, this is a regular week. You know, yes, me too. I had a terrible day today. Exhausting. So, by the way, I was talking to my mom yesterday, I mean, last night, regarding to the topic you say that. <laughs> yeah. The Kumalt or something like that. Uh -huh. they, she has she has no idea about it. She's totally new for her. Are you serious? Seriously, yeah. And this, actually, this is just new for me because I don't know. Oh man, he doesn't know either. Nobody here in my family know about that. Really? What? Or one day you will you will eat it, or maybe you have eaten it before and you just don't know. The only beverage or refresco is horchata. Just yeah, what I drink or cebada. But 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 the cocomal is similar to like a horchata, but they put cornflakes and they put bananas. It's like a complete breakfast. Yeah. Um, class, excuse me one second, okay? I'm checking a study. I will Dude, be no back with, I, I will be back in one minute. Okay, thank you. Wow, Susan, I like your house. Thank you. Is that Central Park? Yes, it is. Don't tell me you're a Friends fan. <laughs> yes, I am. Mm. Proudly. <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't like Friends, but every time I see it on TV, I watch it. So, yeah, so maybe I do like it. <laughs> Yeah, actually, I'm 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 one of those person those uh, people that um, I, I I never stop watching it. I mean, I I finished all the seasons and everything, and mm -hmm. um, I maybe just leave it for a while, maybe one month or two, and then I start it again. Um, I remember I they, they were in uh, Netflix, right? They were, yes, now they are in HBO, but I watch it uh, on this app named Streamio. 
it has all the TV series and movies, and it, it's awesome, actually. Really? That, that app is, is really, really good, yeah. On your phone it or, has everything. or on the computer? Actually, no, it's a, I have it in my phone, but I have this uh, this app also to transfer my my videos, photos, and everything to my TV. So I just play it on my phone, and it it's going to be played on my TV as well. It's like Mirror. Uh, kind of, uh-huh. Hey, what is the name of that app? It's Webcaster Video. No, no, the, the one where you watch all the videos. Oh, it's Streamio. Streamio. That's how, yeah. how it sounds? Streamio. Yeah, it's exactly how it sounds. Oh, I like that. Okay, cool. You know which show I really, really like? Which one? Uh, Modern Family. Modern Family. Actually, I just started it like um, a week ago, and I'm really enjoying it. You haven't watched it before? No, never. Man. I I just I just no. I I had actually I decided to to watch it because I saw this TikTok uh, a few days ago, and I and I show it to my husband, and it was hilarious. So it's, that's why exactly that, <laughs> we that, started to watch it. That show is amazing because. It's only 30 minutes. Well, it's actually not 30 minutes. It's like 22 minutes every episode. I don't know how they do it, but there are maybe 15 characters in the show and they all participate. Yeah. It's it's a really, really, I, I, I it's it's very, I don't know. It's, it's a good show. Yeah. And they had it, they had it on Netflix and they took it out. Yeah, actually, it's in a streamio also, so I, I'm watching it there. Oh, and cool. um, I love Manny. Manny is it's another thing. <laughs> you know, Manny and Sofia Vergara are the ones I like the least. <laughs> uh, I like Phil and and uh, Cameron. I I like I like Mitchell as well. Is is Mitchell? Kind of... he, he's. Mitchell, yeah. Mitchell is your tip. Yeah, but it's a it's a beautiful show. I like it. Yeah, I'm going to keep watching it. All right, cool. Hello, class. The rest of you, how are you? How was your day today? Good evening, teacher. Hi, Angela. Hi, teacher. How was your day today? This me. How was your day today? Um, very well. Normal. <laughs> It was normal? Okay, cool. What about you, Gerardo? How was your day today? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. It was a it was a nice day. I it was with my kids in the early because it was my turn to take them to school. So I I get very early at my work too. I start and very well at, at my work. I was okay. in uh, my office all day. Then I come did, back with my family. And did you cry? Tea. Did you cry the first time you took your sons to school? No, I did not. I cried. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I thought I, my I, kids will cry too, but they didn't. My son they he, just say bye, pa. Really? My son was scared of it. He was like, What what is this? And I said, Okay. And the teacher says, Okay here and then the uh, parents stop here and I, said, I thought I was going to go in and sit him in his desk and tell him okay look baby this will you know no they just said okay thank you daddies you can go and I just saw my son crying and I started crying <laughs> I remember I was looking in through the door if I could see him <laughs> but that I, I remember that so it's a good experience. Mm. Yes, it's a good experience. All right. Edgardo, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. How was your day today? Mm, I can complain. Uh, it was a very good day. Oh, man. You know, I am very angry because... Uh, wait. I can't open this. Do Canon part of you. Who 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 lives in San Salvador? 
Me. And where do you work? I work in Soyapango. And where do you live? Uh, almost arriving to San Marcos. Oh, okay, so you have no problem. Look, you know, I don't know if I remember I told you yesterday that my, my neighbor, my front door neighbor, she died. She had a heart attack and she died. But one thing I don't understand, really, really, I don't understand, four, four police cars came, maybe eight policemen, three ambulance. I don't know the people from Protección Civil. Well, like 25 people came. And I was thinking, is this necessary? Like they need 10 policemen? And you know, people say, no, that's normal because they, they have to. And I, I was having an argument with my father-in-law. I said, man, like 10 policemen. Were like, no, no, that's a, really? You need 10 policemen to make a report? <laughs> I mean, I understand that, you know, the police have to go and investigate. Oh, yes. Okay. It was a heart attack and the doctor and but three ambulances, four police cars. So I was saying recursos. And I'm telling you this because in San Salvador, La Calle 49, do you know which street that is? It's like from Mexico Gonzalez to Metro Centro, which is maybe one of the most, one of the most important streets of San Salvador is closed. And it's gonna be closed maybe for a week because it's opened. It's I don't know the the the, the water or something. <laughs> and and today that I passed by, I said, oh my! When when I passed by, there were only maybe like ten people from my mop or I don't know. They were working and they were all sitting down. So I tell my wife, can you imagine this? Yesterday, one person dies, and 25 people had to come. Huh? Here, this is a very important street. Again, really, I don't know. I would have every mob employee working in that street. Porque it's a very, very important street. It's terrible traffic. Yeah. So if you if you plan to go to Metro Centro. Don't go for a month. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let's start. Let me open. Let me open. Let me open the do 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 do. Where's the platform? Remember yesterday with the gerunds? Okay, so class is going to be like yesterday again. Eight people, nobody speaks. Yes, I remember, teacher. Yeah. I remember the class yesterday, 80% of that class, it was only me speaking. And remember, remember what I told you. I don't need to learn more English. I am okay with my English. Yes, you cannot be only um, passive. You have to be active too. Okay, teacher. Yeah, so at least say okay, yes, teacher. no, thank you. Okay, at least, yes, remember it's one hour is very short, so we have to speak, you know? Okay, um, Susan, do you know the difference? Uh, what is a gerund, Susan? Because you were not in class yesterday. Do you know what a gerund is? Yeah, I I don't have the exact definition and I, I wasn't in the class yesterday, but I know that it works as an, it, it, it acts as a noun. It's, it's, that is the idea that I have. Okay, it's ing. 
A gerund is ing, correct? Okay. All right. Uh, for example, what is the gerund of eat? Eating. Eating, good. What is the gerund of drink? Drinking. All right, awesome. What is the gerund of want? Wanting. Can you say that? Wanting. Mm -hmm. Have you heard people say, I am wanting? No. Okay, no, I so, don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't you, remember. Yeah, you don't remember. But really, you maybe you never have heard people say, I am wanting. But you have, you have heard people say, I am drinking, I am eating, I am sleeping. But how come you haven't heard people say, I am wanting? But don't worry, the class will explain to you. Because we saw that yesterday. Who would like to explain to her why you can't say, but but please don't don't say it in Spanish. Please don't answer in one word. You're the teacher. Explain to Susan why you can't say I am wanting. The teacher okay, was comment. Point. Okay, go ahead, uh, no worries. Thank you. Uh, there is a difference between the, uh, there are two different kind of, of verbs, the action verbs and the non-action verbs. If you can see the the action of the verb, you can use you you can use the germ the ing form. But if you can if you cannot see the the action, uh, for for example in want or think, uh, you can use the ing. But think is a special case because um is like uh say an opinion something like that and but the best example for a non-action bear is, is want good good susan did you understand be honest Yes, I, I mean, yes, I, I get the idea that there's action verbs and non-action verbs, and you can use the gerunds, the ing, with uh, action verbs, right? What is an action verb, um, according to the explanation? Like he mentioned uh, eating. Okay, eating is an action verb, but what about wanting? Why isn't wanting an action verb? I don't know. I didn't understand that part. Okay, cool. No, I, I okay, nice. Hey, but that was a very good explanation, though. I'm going to do to Susan the same thing I did to you yesterday. Susan, what verb is this? Drinking, drink. Yes, drinking, drink, drinking. Okay, good. Um, what verb is this? Dialing. Okay. Dialing, chatting, playing. So why did you say drink or drinking? Why did you say dial? Why did you say chat? Because you see the verb. You see the action. Yes? All right. Mm -hmm. When you cannot see the action, want, you can't see the action. Yes? Like imagine in this case, maybe I want to go to the bathroom, but you can't see it. Mm -hmm. So you can't say, oh man, I am wanting. Oh, so look, it's there, like, mm. oh, you know, you know. So that's why that's why you can't say I am wanting to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So those are action verbs. All right. So action verbs are the verbs you see. If you see the verb, if you see the action. It's an action verb and it has ing. Okay. All right. So let me. And we finished in I used to. So let me put the video. Let me share my screen with you. Who is an IT person here? Oh, yeah, Jesus Alberto. Alberto, just Alberto. Yeah. No Jesus? No, not Jesus. 
I wanted to name my son Heriberto, but my wife didn't let me. Do you know why Heriberto? Why, teacher? Oh, wow, Gerardo, you might know. Do you know Pearl Jam? Yep. Do you know the name of the singer? Um, nope. <laughs> the name of the singer is Eddie Vedder. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, Eriberto is like the closest to Eddie Vedder, you know, so. Hey, it was a good story. Imagine when my son estaba grande porque se pusieron Eriberto. My dad, because of Eddie Vedder, the content of the Pearl Jam. But, you know, my wife said no. <laughs> oh, bono. Let me share my screen with you. Tell me if you could see it. Oh, the reason why I ask that, Bert, because something is wrong with my computer today with the taskbar. My taskbar is bad. I mean, I can't, I can't find it. Okay. Um. Uh, you're, so you're not able to see, you cannot find the, the task bar? No, I, I can, know? I can, but only in the side. If I put them in the bottom, I can't, I can't get it. Ah. So I'm checking the resolution of the screen and, and everything, you know, to find the fit. So it's very, I don't know what happened. I hope it's not a virus. Okay, but tell me if you could see my screen. Can you see it? Yes. We yes, can. Sure. yes, yes. Okay, cool. Thank you. Let me share sound. Okay. So how have you changed? Remember, what is I used to? Do you remember what is I used to? It's a past yes, present or yes. future? Yes. What is it? I remember. It's an action that we used to do, but in the past, and we are not doing anymore. Okay, very good. Yes. So it's an action you did in the past, but remember one very, very, very important thing. This action you did in the past habitually. Yes? Because yes. If, if you went to Europe in the past only one time? No, more, more time. Yes, it had to be in habitually, habitually. Because, you know, like if you were rich, you said, oh, I used to go to Europe every year. But if you only went one time, you can't say I used to because you only did the action one time. Okay, so something you did habitually. So let's listen to the video. Welcome. You know, most people change over the years. Can you hear? How have you changed, let's say, over the last five yes, years? Yes, Yes. What do you want to change now? Yes, teacher. Take the following chart. How have you changed? Describing how you've changed. I used to be, but now I'm. I'm more. Now I enjoy. Describing how would you like to change. I'm interested in. I'd like to be more. Three things I've changed. Three things I would like to change. Now that you have come. All right, so let's try this. Um, tell me something you used to be, something you used to do, and compare it to the present. Like, let me give you an example. I used to smoke a lot. I used to smoke maybe one pack of cigarettes a day. But now I hate the smell of smoke. I really hate it. When somebody passes by me and I smell smoke, I want to vomit. Okay, so I stopped smoking. Do you smoke? No, I don't, teacher. I used to. You did? Nowadays, I, I don't do anymore. Why or how did you stop? Um, I stopped uh, doing it because I realized it was uh, bad for my health. You know, it's so bad. I, 
it's bad and it's a very stupid habit yes it is when you stop doing it you say man that's really a stupid habit <laughs> yeah it happens to me mm. and nowadays i i have headaches if i if i if i have a person smoking yeah you know, one time I, one time i was in the beach with my friends and we were drinking beer and one of my friends he got a cigarette and i said you know what give me i want to try this and and i and i tried it again like after 10 years oh my god my head started spinning like like a headache so never again all right so that's my example let me see uh Lisette, give me your example please Excuse me, teacher. Example, why? Example. Ha, have you been listening to the class? Like, okay, we have to give um something you used to do, something you used to be, and now you mm -hmm. compare that to now. Okay. I used to play in the mic when the child. Um, okay. I I I used to to the beach when the family. Okay, now, but listen to this. I okay. used to the beach. I need a I verb. Okay, I used to, to go, go to the, the beach. beach. Hoy ya no va a la playa para nada. No. Really? You don't go to the beach? No. Occasionally? like. No. Okay. Why? I, I don't like the beach. I don't, but sometimes I go. <laughs> and you... Um, you... My time is in my house. Um with the family and, and Sunday, only Sunday is my day. Uh, how do you, I, I don't know, how, how do you say that? You say my day off, you can say my rest day. My okay, good. Claudia, can you tell me something about you? Um, yes. When I was a child, I used to play hide and seek with my friends, but later we move on to lower this. Um, because we I was born in San Pablo Tacachico, that's why I used to play with my friends hide and seek. Um wait, wait, you worked in in Tacachico. Born. I was born. Ah, I was born. Okay. Cla yes, yes. Claudia, I'm sorry. Can you give me one second, please? Um, my battery, sure. I, I need to connect my computer. Hold on, please. Sorry. Hold on. I'm, I need to go get my the charger. Please hold on. Thank you. Okay, so you used to work there and you used to play hide and seek. Yes, and also I used to go to Lempa River and we used to play with my with my cousins. Hey, nice. Cool. Yes. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Edgardo, what is hide and seek?
Uh, can you repeat it again, teacher? Claudia used to play hide and seek. What is that? Oh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Bert, what is hide and seek? Gerardo, somebody, what is hide and seek? And it's like in our country, we say escondelero. Exactly, yes. Mm -hmm. Pero, ¿por qué le hice esa pregunta? Porque capté que no sabían qué era. Pero estaba esperando que alguien me dijera, teacher, she used to play what? Hide and seek. What is that? Oh, good. That's the kind of questions I needed from you because it's vocabulary. Okay, you have to ask. Y ya que me acuerdo, eh, ¿quién me dijo Mika? I think it was Lisette, right? Me, teacher. Yes. 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 Do, you, do you know how to say Mika in English? Mm, I know. I don't know. Okay, now, miren. Uh, consta que también no se llama Mika. O sea, en el sabor decimos Mika. Hay otros lugares que dicen. Bueno, creo que le dicen también Landa, ¿verdad? Here in Santana, we call it Jeva. Jeva, okay. Oh, Santana, Topollillos. I remember that too. Topollillos too. Charamuscas, Topollillos. Depends. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in English, lo que es similar a, a Mika is tag. Tag. Uh -huh. So you are it. Because it's a tag. You're it. You're it. You are it. That's, that's if you ever wonder. <laughs> okay, thank you, Claudia, for that story. Jonathan, give me, tell me something you used to do. Um, I used to, I used to walk in the morning with my dog. When I was 18 years old. Okay, and what happened to your dog? But, uh, it's, it's that it's dead. Your dog died, oh, sorry, okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Susan, tell me something you used to do or used to be. Um, I used to play the guitar and, and sing. Um, but I am not doing that anymore because I don't have a guitar anymore, sadly. Really? Uh, yeah, it is, uh, it, 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 it's broke now. So I, I have to buy a new one, but I don't have money, but I accept donations. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, this is interesting. So you used to play the guitar. Like what music did you sing? Um, well, first at the beginning was all about, uh, church music. I mean, I was in, in, uh, chorus and, um, and then I just started to like practice with some of friends and we went to, we used to, we used to sing in, in, in some restaurants at night. In, in and, Santa Ana? Or? Yes, in Santa Ana. There's a place named Lover's Stick House. So we okay. went there. And also La Pampa. And, and what music did you like sing? That. Um, ballads, basically. Like Alanis Morris? Uh... Yeah. Like, no, most, most likely um, La Oreja de Van Gogh, uh, La Quinta Estación. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Chick music. Yeah, girly music. Yeah. No, but I like those bands. They're cool. Like Quinta Estación is cool. She's a good singer. Yeah, you know my favorite, I think, you know, it's too bad that young people here, they like Carol G or stuff like that. But I, I re agree. yeah, I, I think the best artist in this moment, woman artist is Natalia Lafourcade, man. She is, Indeed. she is. Wow. Yes. But you know, I love her music actually. Yes. Yeah, me too. I, 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 me, I really watch her videos and I said, wow, she's, she's, she's wow. But I, I bet you if she comes here, 
was like, oh. Pero viene Carol G. Oh. <laughs> it's like Shakira, too. Remember? Sha I like Shakira, the first album. It was very good. Y después hizo. Reggaeton. Yeah, she started to, to, to sing reggaeton and things like that. Yeah, but her first like pop rock album, it was very good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What What was the name of your band? Um, uh, actually, it it was. I mean, we didn't have a real name because, um, it was it, it was not something that we used to. I mean, like Plan. it was. Yeah. However, we had a name, and it was called uh, Cafe Morena. Okay. Uh, few years ago actually that was a long time ago i had a friend a girl she had a band and um, the name of the band it was called lavanda <laughs> like the nice. like the the color but not a not a lavanda you know because with a b yeah lavanda. it was a, a word game mm -hmm. uh-huh so it was hey that was cool lavanda nice all right, cool. Hey, interesting, she, Susan. So someday you will sing for us. Someday. <laughs> All right, cool. Angela, tell us something you used to do. Now you don't. Uh, excuse me, teacher. Mm -hmm. What is the question? To, uh, they give example, like everybody. Tell us something uh, that you used to do. Now you don't. Okay. <clears throat> I used to listen to. Shakira <clears throat> music before all uh, the scandal, yeah. maybe. Uh -huh. Now um, you don't. No. <laughs> yeah. Actually, poor... no. <laughs> yes, I. Well, I used to listen to Shakira, and I used to like Shakira. I used to like. But Shakira. now I don't. I don't like what she's doing. Yes. Um. Today, no. <laughs> Yes, she's a very beautiful and talented woman. She doesn't need to be doing that stupid thing she's doing right now. <laughs> yes, but yes. yes. <clears throat> Bert, tell us something you used to do and now you don't. Me? No, Bert. Albert. Uh... No, Albert. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Well, when I was a kid, I was a kid. I used to, to celebrate Christmas with my brother, my siblings. Sorry, mm -hmm. and I don't celebrate Christmas anymore. You don't? So not as an adult. Yeah. Why not? Not a religious person anymore. Are you atheist? It's a polite way to say that. Not a religious person anymore. No. Yeah, so, I I am an atheist, but I am atheist, but I I I don't I I celebrate Christmas, but not because of Jesus. I celebrate Christmas because you know I like really? to. Eat. I mean, the traditional, you know, eat tamales, and drink, <laughs> you know, and the fire. But I, I I don't celebrate it because of the of the reason. It's just holidays. What, what, yeah, you're right. One of the reasons because since I was a. Uh, uh, this is a Christian person. I don't know how to say that. The, the gospel. Well, this, this, well, I was you a, were a Christian. The Christ a Christian. Yeah, I was a Christian because in my the how to say that we didn't celebrate either because it's a paganism or the Catholic Church. <laughs> so that's what oh, they okay. say. So since I was a teenager, I stopped celebrating Christmas because of my belief in that time. And nowadays, because I know either. A Christian person, I don't celebrate either. I mean, oh, okay. just celebrate the 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 uh, the end of the year. Awesome, yes. Thomas Edison was born in December. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, so you, you you know you have an excuse. I celebrate Christmas for Thomas Edison, not for Jesus. So let me understand he... your religion. You were a Jehovah Witness. No, I wasn't. I was a, uh, how do you say this? Apostoli Profeta? I don't know how to say that. It, it, is that the is seventh, the septimo dia, no? No, Apostoli Profetas. Yeah, I know about that. Okay, interesting. Yeah. 
That's they why don't you celebrate don't... Christmas for some reason. I don't understand why, but they, they believe that this is a traditional or Paganese from the Catholic Church. And so your name that's the and... reason they don't celebrate. Yeah, all those people are crazy. And your name is Jesus. <laughs> Think about it. That's so yes, no. ironic. I ironic, yes. Yes, it's true. Interesting. Okay. Edgar, tell us something you used to do. Well, me too, Jesus. I, I, Alberto, I used to be a, a Christian. Now I'm not. But let me tell you something. I used to celebrate Christmas and enjoy it. I mean, that's that's true because I uh, participate with my family and all the celebration to get for that dinner, all the stuff. It was really, it was a good thing. I mean, because we were together as family, but nowadays we just celebrate the, the New Year's Eve. But you know what? Bert, Susan, and Claudia, one thing I love about call centers is that you work holidays of El Salvador. Yes. I really yeah. love, I love that because like Semana Santa, Easter is coming. When you are married, you have no life. So people make plans for you. You know, like, ah, mira, en Semana Santa, vamos a ir a visitar. And all you want to do is rest. But now, hey, me toca trabajar, so I can't. Ahí vayan ustedes. Oh, yes. <laughs> So that's why that's why I like to. They always tell me, "Do you want to work American holidays or Salvadorian holidays?" American, American, American. American holidays are always the best. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Edgardo. Tell us something about you. Okay, when when I was a child, I used to visit my grandma. I used to go there with all my family, and when I was there, I used to climb the trees and take the fruit and eat uh, over the tree. Okay, good. Um, you told me you live in Soyapango, right? No, it's in Salvador. Oh, you work in Soyapango? Yes. Where? Uh, I work in in a company called text to feed Okay. Because in, um, the reason why I ask you is because, you know, now with the, with the exception in Salvador, you know, people say, man, a popa used to be very dangerous. Now it's okay. What about you? Where you live, it's okay or it's still the same? Where I live is, is very, uh, I don't know, it, there is no problem. It's a very good place, uh, and in the place where I where I work, uh, I don't know, but I I have never seen nothing strange or some boys that uh, wanted to do something bad. I have many friends that work in call centers that they are angry for the exception. Because that's that was their excuse, you know. No necesito el horario de ocho a cinco porque donde yo vivo después de las seis ya no dejan entrar, you know, los mareros. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and now, I say, hey, you know, now you can work. Oh, ya no, ya no hay nada. <laughs> you know, and sometimes it was a lie. My friends tell me like, oh, man, you are, you know. I tell him that he mentioned, sí, sí, pues sí, so usted va a estudiar, va a trabajar de siete a cuatro para que llegue temprano a su casa. Now, sorry. <laughs> All right. Okay. So very good. So I used to, something you did frequently or habitually in the past. Now you don't. Correct? Let's see here. Listening exercise. Listen to the audio program. Which person do you think would be more likely to do these things this weekend? Choose the right answer. Watch, check this out. Tell me, can you hear? 
Listen yes, again. Which person do you think would be more likely to do these things this weekend? Check Marcos or Heather. One, Marcos. Well, I guess the biggest change in my life over the last five years is that I got married. You know, I used to be into going out with friends every weekend and staying out late. We were pretty wild and crazy back then. Now, I'm more of a family man. I don't mind staying at home, watching TV, that kind of thing. I'm even learning to cook. It's not so bad. I guess you could say that I started to grow up. I wasn't so interested in going out all the time. I was ready to settle down and have a family. I have to be honest, my heart wasn't really in the right place before. I mean, before I didn't mind being, well, a little irresponsible at times, even selfish. I was always out having fun with my friends, but I never wanted to hear about their problems. I just didn't care. But with my wife and little boy, it's different. I'm trying to become more, you know, more kind and generous. I want to be there to help them out, no matter how small the problem. Two, Heather. I have to say, five years ago, I was a completely different person. I never said much in a crowd, and I always tried to avoid making small talk with people I didn't know very well. But really, I was just incredibly shy and reserved. Anyway, then I went away to college, and I had this roommate, Nora. She had a great sense of humor and laughed at all my jokes. That really gave me a lot of confidence. Nora and I joined a small study group at school. When we finish studying, a bunch of us go out for coffee. Conversation is easy because we all have a lot of the same interests. Now, my new friends think of me as the funny one in the group. Can you believe it? So, I'd say I'm much more friendly and outgoing now. I don't worry about speaking up and giving my opinion anymore. In fact, I'm thinking about joining a few more clubs so I can meet even more new people and do more things. Okay, who do you think would stay out late at a big party? Heather. Heather. Stay home Heather. and watch TV? David. Marcos, Marcos, right? Who help a relative with a personal problem? Marcos. Marcos. Do you know what is a relative? Family. Yes, I guess. Yes. Family. Okay, yes. <clears throat> I'm telling you this because in Spanish we say pariente. But sometimes if you say that in English, my parents, uh uh. Parents is only mother and father. So if you want to say, oh, I'm going to visit my parents, that means you're going to visit your family, your mother or father. If you say you're going to visit your relatives, it's the rest of your family, okay? Okay. So number four, it says, invite a classmate to a funny movie. Heather. Heather. Heather, Heather. I like that name, Heather. Yes, it's nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, this this we're not going to do because we already did. It tells you, tell me three things you have changed and three things I'd like to change. We'll do something different here. Okay. Non clauses. Noun clauses. Let's see what this is. No, noun clauses after B. Let's hear this. Hi, please read the following article. Can you find the noun clause in the last example? I'll give you 30 seconds to read it and identify it. You may begin. Un cronómetro hubiera sido un poquito mejor. Sí. 
Did you find it? Let's do it together. There is only one bathroom. Noun clauses of the be. Remember, a noun clause is a group of words that function together as a noun. It can be the subject of a sentence or the object of a verb. We want you to pay attention on. The word that signals the beginning of a noun clause. That in noun clauses after be is optional. Also notice the prepositions that are used with the following noun. Let's work on an example. One benefit of being an only child is that you get a lot of attention. That you get a lot of attention is a noun clause. Every noun clause has a subject and a predicate. In the above example, you is the subject and get is the verb. Complete the sentences with your own ideas. Then, compare them with a partner in class. Number one, an advantage of example, you is the subject and get is the beginning of a okay, noun function together see. as a noun. We want is optional. Also notice the prepositions that are used with the following noun. Let's work on an example. One benefit of being an only child is that you get a lot of attention. That you get a lot of attention is a noun clause. Every noun clause has a subject and a predicate. In the above example, you is the subject and get is the verb. Okay, now this explanation is a little complicated because it's very, very grammatical, you know. Todo va a Uh-huh, but I don't understand. <laughs> so don't worry, we'll, we'll continue that tomorrow because we only have seven minutes. Now I want everybody to tell me something that you love and something that you hate. Something that you like or something that you hate. Yes? For example, some I love coffee. Something that I love is coffee. Something that I hate is crema, cream. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Jonathan, tell me something that you like. I like playing video games. Okay. Something that I like is Pete. Okay, Ronald, tell me something that you like, please. I like going to movies because I feel like I disappear. It's similar similar to sleeping, I guess. It's like I don't think about my duties. I don't think about my job. It's just, just me and the person I'm going out with. And that's what I like. But wait, wait. So you like the company or you like actually the movie? No, the movie because I actually I go just just by myself. Oh, good. What I is your favorite going, movie? Uh, I don't have like any any favorite specifically. Is but specifically. I enjoy, yes, but I am I enjoy watching like. The other day I watched a movie, it was Leo DiCaprio and I don't remember the name of the movie, but it was about the guy who was at Shutter Island, I guess was the, the name of the movie. movie. So I like that one and that's the one I remember now. But... Do, you have, do you have Netflix? Yes, I do. Watch a movie. The, the name of the movie is Her. Like like women or her. Okay. Man, that movie is. It's, it's with Joaquin Phoenix, you know, Joaquin Phoenix, right? Yeah, it's the Joker. Yes. Yeah. Man, that movie is ooh. It's an excellent I, movie. I've seen the other day, it was called Perfume, I guess. It was oh, a nice that, one. The end is cool, huh? Yes, yeah. It's a good one. <laughs> it's crazy, yeah. Okay. You don't, you don't expect it. No, you don't. It's, it's a very good movie. Yes. No, but you should watch that movie, Her. I recommend you. Okay. It's it's about this this man. And this man 
He is not very social. He's like a nerd, you know, like, uh, mm -hmm. he's not very social. So one day he bought, he bought an app, an app. Mm -hmm. And the app is like, the app talks to you like Alexa. De hecho, quizá de ahí se inspiró Alexa. So he implants or he puts it on his ear. And he becomes very good friends with, with the app. He se empieza a enamorar de la, oh man, it's crazy, but watch it. It's a very good movie. It's Joaquin Phoenix. He's a great actor. Yeah. Yes. Well, uh, Claudia, tell me something that you like. No, tell me something that you hate. I like to stay in open places and I hate to stay in closed places. Okay, good. Are you claustrophobic? No, just because I like to stay like park, something like that. Okay, so, okay, like parks. What are closed uh, uh, spaces like the mm -hmm. movies, discotheques? Maybe on my bedroom or just in one part of the house. I like to. I I think I'm a little um, interactive. <laughs> Hyperactive. So you suffered in the pandemic, no? Yes. In the lockdown, in the quarantine, lockdown? Yes, I, I remember that on that time I used to do exercise. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. cool. All right. Hey, um, did you end, did you ever seen somebody extremely crazy, like extreme crazy in the pandemia? Yes. Yeah. Like, like como los memes. Mm. I saw a lady, I, I yeah. took a picture of that lady. Remember when you can only go out with your Dewey? Yes. I yes, saw I remember. I saw a lady in the supermarket with a supermarket bag and the holes. You know, she, of course she had gloves, she had everything like, but she had a supermarket bag. <laughs> that, creo que fue lo más loco que vi. I took a picture. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, Gerardo, tell me something that you hate. Um, um, I hate and um, when I get sick because uh, I I am very active person. So when I get sick, uh, I I feel like I lost that that energy to work, to be with my family, to to do. Oh, I love sports. So uh, yeah, that's okay. something I hate getting sick. Yes. yes, women don't understand when men get sick. It really is bad. <laughs> Really, really bad. Sabes que dicen que cuando un hombre se enferma es casi, casi comparado al dolor de parto. Oh, I did not know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Un día había ese meme. <laughs> did you know that when a woman está comprobado? No. Okay, so yeah, me too. I hate when I get sick. Lisette, tell me something that you hate. Okay, Susan, tell me something that you hate. Um, okay, so I'm going to tell you what I love first. Uh, something that I love, that I really love is cooking. I, I, oh, yeah. I really enjoy to, to create new recipes, but I really hate to have to wash the dishes. So I have, I have this low in my house and everything knows it. And um, everyone, I'm sorry, everyone knows it. And is that who cooks? doesn't wash the dishes so if i cook every um anyone else can just do the dishes okay cool but you know i under yeah cool i understand the thing is when you say i have a law in my house yeah you can say that but usually in english it sounds more like there are some rules in my house all right Thank so you. people say more you, you you say more like there's some rules in my house you know whoever okay. cooks doesn't do the dishes okay Thank well, you. Well, yeah, me too. I love to cook, but I love to invent. 
That's great. I, I love to invent things. Okay, cool. And you hate, yeah, I hate to wash dishes. <laughs> yeah. You know, do they sell dishwashers here in Simon? They do. Right? I I don't know. I I guess I guess so. We, if if they don't have maybe complete the uh, sentences with your own ideas, then sorry. Maybe at Prismar, I guess. Um, but I'm I'm not sure. But haven't you noticed that technology makes you more lazy? Yeah. Because definitely. like okay, everything starts like I remember when I was single. I I, I hate to wash clothes, but I meant the hand wash. So I remember I used to pay a lady. She washed my clothes. And then I said, huh, I bought a washing machine. So I used to wash my clothes in the washing machine. Me daba hueva, like, ah, oh, sacarla, man, sacarla. So I bought a dryer. Una secadora. You know? And it's like, oh, okay, cool. And now... So like you you know there's always like there's always technology makes you more lazy, you know. Like I am waiting for 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 that invention of que ya salga doblada. Pero después la tengo que sacar y guardar. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, Jonathan, what do you hate? Ronald, what do you hate? Um, I hate to be in crowded places. I feel like I cannot be at, at peace. I prefer to, that's why I prefer staying at home than going out. Even when I think about that traffic, I don't like to be in, in places with other people because I'm not sure I feel like I feel better alone. I enjoy just playing my own music. I mean, the music I like. I want to watch the movie I like. And it's just like, I actually enjoy my own company. You like to be alone? I, I, uh, I like it, yes. I mean, hey. I have fun with myself by playing video games online or... Hey, that's good. Yeah, I like... It. It's, studying to uh, any language for example something yeah, i'm good. not sure Enjoy. about so that's good because it's productive what you do yes i i think so i remember when i was single me too i used to like to be alone i remember i used to go and buy 10 dvds and watch movies all weekend alone in my house and it was mm -hmm. fun. I really, really want one day in my life <laughs> to do that again someday because now it's impossible. I mean, uh, to have company is good, but sometimes I feel like it's kind of overrated because you give like that power to someone else to make you feel bad or angry or sad. But it must be balanced, right? Because you must talk to other people too. You must have friends. Of course, yes. So don't stay. I mean, I like to be alone, but I I enjoy uh, spending time with other people too. No, good. Like you said, it's balanced. Okay, good. Um, okay, guys. So tomorrow is the last day. We we will finish the 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 um the lesson. We can finish. Um, I would like to do some activities, like to do music, watch movies, watch some movies. Do you know? Do you know how to watch movies in English? O sea, para práctica. Do you know how to do it? Oh, teacher, can you tell us, please? Okay. Yes. Like, um, first, I recommend you to watch. Uh, mo okay. You know that movies have are rated, correct? Like, what is G? Uh, 
I, like, I know about the rate, but I don't know what's okay. the G. Like Toy Story. Toy Story is classificada G in English. It's G. G is for general. Okay. So what does that mean? Everybody can watch that. Your five-year-old son and your 70-year-old grandfather. They can understand it. There's no violence. There's no sex. Nada mala palabra, nothing. And it's very simple. Entonces, hey. And then you have PG-13. Como ah, 13 para arriba. Then you... So what I recommend to you is to watch G movies. So what I do with my class is we don't watch the complete movie. We start watching a movie, maybe five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. And then boom, I stop it. And then we talk about the movie. Okay, so tell me what's going on? Why is John crying? Why is Bambi crying? Oh, because they killed his mother. Who killed his mother? Hunters. You know, that's how you practice movies. You watch and you talk about it. Also, that's how you practice music too. You you know, you listen, and you stop. Mm -hmm. But no, don't watch okay. The Matrix. <laughs> oh. The, the, those complicated movies don't watch. Watch simple movies that have a simple story. Como le dije ayer, Richard, se um, los libros. Hmm? What about the subtitles? You know we what? Can add it or not? I don't recommend you subtitles because pues, ¿sabes que la diferencia de interpretar y traducir? Sí, sí, yes. Yes. No, no, no. Ok. Interpretar es decir o sea, interpretar lo que esa persona quiso decir. Traducir es literalmente qué dijo esa persona. Le voy a dar un ejemplo. Por eso es que no recomiendo a veces los subtítulos. Han visto en unas películas que dicen, oh, man. Y han oído esa expresión, ¿no? Right? Yes, yes. Pero el subtítulo va a decir, oh, rayos. Eso es interpretar. Porque eso, en nuestra versión, eso, porque nosotros no decimos, oh, hombre. Decimos, ah, rayos. Yes. Entonces ahí la gente dice, ahí no dijo rayos, ahí dijo hombre. Entonces ahí es donde la gente se empieza a confundir. Yo les digo, es que no está traduciendo, está interpretando. Yes. O sea, está dando la idea de lo que la persona quiso decir. De hecho, estaba viendo una cosa que pensé que la palabra solo era salvadoreña, pero la oigo bastante, chucherías. ¿Ya han oído eso? Pero así, yes, eh, yo lo he visto como el precio de la historia y todo. Cómpreme unas chucherías. Hey, no lo no sabía. Ajá. Obviamente, en inglés eso se llama snacks. You know? Entonces, no, I don't, I don't really recommend subtitles. And in English? No, that's what I'm saying, because it can confuse you. No, subtitles in English. English or Spanish, I, I don't recommend you. Ah, ok, ok, ok. You know, uh -huh. Porque, por eso, más que las expresiones idiomáticas como... Hay, hay un dicho en inglés que dice, when in Rome, do what Romans do. ¿Qué significa? ¿Ya lo has oído, Albert? Yes. Yeah, como... Hey, si es, cuando estás en Roma, sé lo que hacen los romanos. Aunque soy el en español no existe, entonces es una expresión idiomática y a veces esa no la van a traducir así. Van a dar la versión en español que... A donde puedes a los que vienes. Ajá, como, hey, úneteles. Si no sabes, úneteles. Algo así. Y nada que ver con la, con la expresión que quiso decir. Yes. It would yeah. be better if they say... El que anda con lobos aviar aprende. Yeah, something like that. Similar. More similar. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
por ejemplo, yo, esa expresión es como cuando vienen los gringos aquí, no he notado de que ellos no vienen aquí, no van a malls. Ellos vienen aquí, van al centro, van a la playa, porque no, ¿de qué les sirve ver la Gran Vía si donde ellos vienen hay miles de malls? Entonces dice, when in Rome, do what Rome do, eat pupusas. ¿Qué es lo que hacemos los salvadoreños? Eat pupusas, dance cumbias, etc., etc., etc. So they want to do that here. It's, it's, it's expressions. So, yes, I don't recommend you closed caption in English or Spanish. Mm -hmm. lo, que sí, lo que sí les recomiendo, ¿saben qué es bueno? El, eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Cuando la, el, lo de mudo para, para mudos. La seña. No, es que vaya, hay, cuando ustedes ven, hay, hay Netflix creo que lo tiene, que está closed caption que le tira las letras, la, 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 la traducción, ¿verdad? Y hay otro que se llama closed caption para los, para los sordos. Significa de que tira, está diciendo lo que dicen y lo que está pasando alrededor. Like the descriptive, descriptive, yeah, descriptive audio, exactly. Guess. Like, <laughs> respira profundo, dice esto, uh -huh. describe cosas. Eso a mí me gusta ponerlo a veces como, hey. Mm -hmm. But, uh, pon, so, entre paréntesis ponen, raining in the background. It describes, describes the, the scene. Yes. Okay, class. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Okay. Good night. Bye bye. Okay, good teacher. Good night. Good night, good night, good night class. Good night. Good night. Bye.